Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to Prepmatic. In this week's video, we're reviewing the Aussie Peelback Kangaroo Plate Carrier. All right, be forewarned, I have tried this a million times. I cannot get through the next section of this video without saying plate at least 10,000 times, maybe turn it into a drinking game or something. But you might remember Aussie Peelback. I had one of their products on the channel to review not too long ago. This is the Med Plate. And the point of this is that you take basically any medical supply you want or any supply you want, you put some sticky Velcro on it, and then you stick it to this guy. You'll then take this plate and you'll put it behind the ballistic plate in your plate carrier or whatever armor you're wearing. And then when you need it, you can take this and you can pull it out the bottom, comes out like a charm, and you have all your medical supplies. The big problem this is meant to basically solve is medical supplies taking up a lot of room on a plate carrier. So, you know, you've got all of this ammo on, you've got radios, comms, breaching equipment, you name it. It can be hard to find place for an IFAC. So basically this takes away that issue, it puts it behind uh, that ballistic plate, it protects it a little bit more. A lot of people are like, well, why would you put it behind a ballistic plate? It, it's gonna get shot. I mean, that's the most protected IFAC on the planet because if it's behind a ballistic plate, that's a lot better than something that's mounted on your cummerbund that can be shot directly. Regardless, that's the problem that this is meant to solve. It just basically makes the medical supplies more convenient. Now this came with a couple relatively severe problems in my opinion. Number one is that if your plates were in the exact same pocket as this guy, and they weren't secured by a second strap, you'd go, you'd pull the medical supplies out, and your front ballistic plate would also fall out with that. Obviously, that's not great. Uh, your buddy just got shot, now you're pulling this out and your armor comes out. Uh, now that was mitigated, they've got a band that you can put in there and that you can actually secure your plate. It works relatively well, but you know, one extra step. Um, the other problem with this is that you have to know that it's there. So one of the things with medical supplies, if you're the medic, you're coming up on somebody that's wounded, uh, you need to know where their medical supplies are because you're working off them before you're working off your own supplies. So obviously this comes with some responsible usage. If you're with a team, they have to know where you're keeping these medical supplies. So those are the two major issues with it. They built a product that is basically meant to uh, solve one of those problems, and that's the plate coming out. And they built a plate carrier directly around this product. So this is the Kangaroo Plate Carrier by Aussie Peelback. Now I have to digress just a little bit. Aussie Peelback's name is a little bit confusing. They are made in Canada, uh, not in Australia, and I believe it's an Australian Shepherd is their mascot, hence the reason for that. But anyways, a little bit of a tangent there. So this plate carrier here, the big feature on it is that it has two plate pockets. So you have this pocket here, it's kangaroo pocket that comes open and that's actually where you seat your plate. That Velcro's down. Now below that, in where you normally find your plate in most plate carriers, this is where you have the med plate. So this guy comes out right here. We've got the med plate stocked with supplies and that still sits behind that ballistic plate, keeps it relatively protected. So before we go over this feature in particular, let's talk about this plate carrier. So this is designed, what I believe is around the Cry JPC. The cover bun is very similar to that. The release mechanism under this placard is almost identical to the Cry. Uh, it does not have a quick release system there. You have the ability to put on a placard in the front. And one of the really cool things about this product is it comes with everything for this placard. And then it comes with the kangaroo placard that they make. Uh, standard, so you don't have to buy anything separate. It comes with the buckles and it's ready to go. Basically what a placard means is that I can take this, instead of mollying everything to the front of this plate carrier, I can take this guy, pull it off, and then I can take another placard, such as this guy from HRT Tactical, clip that in, and it rests in the front and then you are ready to go for different mission sets. I really like that feature. You know, the first plate carriers that I was running, uh, I had to molly everything on the front. And somebody was like, hey, you know, we're gonna change it for this mission. And I would never wanna do it because it was so difficult to do. So pretty cool that it comes with those placard standard. 
One of the odd things about it that I'll be honest, I don't understand is that it actually has the ability to put the same placards on the back. So it doesn't come with the buckles for it, but you still have the straps inside of this pocket. And these here, now if I can get to it, can't get to it right now. Those will allow you to put on the buckles on the back if you want to run a second placard there or you know something else, you can do that. Okay, I think that's fair. It might be useful for somebody. It's not useful for me in the slightest. So as we're talking about the placard, the one it comes with, and it's the same concept as this cummerbund here, basically you have these elastic loops and those come down to this holder. So this is great for a radio, a tourniquet, um, your AR magazines, they'll all fit into this if you want a three rows of AR magazines. But what's kind of unique, I think, is that behind that, you have the same molly webbing. So if you do want to molly something to this placard, you can do that and you don't have to modify it at all, which is kind of cool. That's the same concept as this cummerbund on the side is you've got these elastic loops, but then you come into it and you have these guys here, which are your molly loops that allow you to do it. One thing that I would change with this guy is I would have molly loops in the blank spaces here. That just allows you to change how high or low a piece of equipment sits on any molly, you know, you have things that are different heights and it's just nice to have that interchangeability. As it stands, you basically have to mount it as these are oriented, which isn't a huge deal, but it could be better in my opinion. Looking at the front under the placard, this is one of the reasons I think this resembles the Cry JPC is you don't have any quick release, which is fine. We have high-end plate carriers that don't have that. I personally prefer to have those on my plate carrier. And you have these nylon loops that just allow you to pull the cummerbund off on either side. And then you take your placard and you put it down on top of it. It secures it. That's fine. I, I don't have an issue with that. Um, this originally released, I think it was a bit of a higher price point. And at that point, I was like, well, if you're going to sell it for that price point, I want quick releases. As it stands, this play carrier will run you about $250 to $280, depending on the color. I think the multicam is a little bit more expensive. And with that, it's not horrible. I think that's acceptable right there. All right, so coming up the play carrier, you have the kangaroo pocket itself. So right here, this is all elastic. The rest of the plate carrier is 500D Cordura nylon. It's very sturdy. Uh, you do have a lot of elastic in the cummerbund and the placard, but both of those things are replaceable. The plate carrier isn't. So I do worry a little bit about the strength of this elastic, if it's going to hold up or if it's going to deform over time. And that's anecdotal. I, I haven't used this long enough to see if there's wear and tear on it. I had this at one range day. Uh, it didn't get scuffed up or anything, but that's hardly a test for uh, combat viability long term. Just be aware that this is all elastic and that just helps you take your plate in and out of this carrier uh, as you're going. So it's pretty easy to insert the stuff. And then down below you do have this loop field that will just allow you to Velcro that down and leave it. You've got these guys here and this is a minor aesthetic issue that I have is that this elastic loop comes down a little bit below the pocket itself. Now I'm guessing that's made so that you can route stuff out from that. On the back, it gets a little bit more important. I'll explain that. But I don't like that aesthetically. It's not that pleasing. And that, once again, is a minor complaint that I have. Coming around to the back, the back looks almost identical to the front. Um, in fact, it might be identical to the front uh, besides this pull handle right here. Um, so back here, we've got the same thing. We've got the kangaroo pouch and then we have the plate pouch underneath. I was kind of questioning this at first. I was looking at it, it's like, well, you're not gonna run two med plates. It, it simply doesn't make sense. However, the one thing that this will work really well with is actually the ice plates from Core Performance. So as a hydration system, you wanna put the ice plates in this main pocket right next to your skin. They're frozen, they're gonna feel good on a really hot day or desert day. And then what's cool is you can actually route that tubing out from it. The shoulders all have these little organizers here. If you don't have these on a plate carrier, they're really easy to do with wire organizers and put on yourself, but I do like it when carriers come with them. It's just kind of a nice touch. You've got this Velcro backing and the cummerbund secures like so. I actually prefer this over the Cry JPC's uh, securing device. I don't like all those bungee cords in the back or anything. I like just having it Velcroed uh, one size and done. Shoulder straps are nothing to write home about on this. 
Um, I think the measurements were a little bit wrong, either that or I'm a really small guy. Uh, I had to take these guys, I took these covers off. Let's see if I can do this for you. And I had to resize it. So I see a ton of people wearing their plate carriers super, super low uh, on their body. Um, because most of these straps, I feel like they're designed for like 400 pound dudes. Uh, but I had to take these, I had to overlap them a lot, and then I had to take these two flaps and actually fold them down to make this fit me adequately, and then take the cover and put it back. There are no shoulder pads on here, which I think is okay. I found that shoulder pads, they always feel nice when you're trying them on at a store, but in reality, they're not gonna save your shoulders at all, and I'd rather just have some nylon right there. So now that we've gone through the plate carrier itself, I wanna talk about its kind of its main feature, this med plate slot. So, like I said, if you're running a med plate, you have to be super careful with this. You have to make sure that people know where this is on your kit. I would not advise keeping a tourniquet in here, and Aussie Peelback doesn't even advise keeping a tourniquet on here. That should be out and visible, easily accessible. Having this plate in here is an interesting idea because it frees up that that spot. One thing I didn't mention is that this will be relatively hard to get out if you're in a seated position. So if you're crunched at the waist, it's not gonna come out easily. It can be done though, because this guy is flexible. So it goes in this pocket. A uh, small oversight I think here is that when you put it in, you have this tail. And this tail is what allows you to bring it out. You can take this, you can fold it up a little bit, and then you can fold that Velcro into itself. It feels like there should be a better like outlet for this tail. I know it's there because that helps rip the Velcro out, but this flap in and of itself does not feel like it was actually meant to deploy this plate. That being said, it's pretty easy to do. You do that, it comes right out without any issue. All in all, guys, I think this is a very interesting concept. Now, I'll tell you, this does not work for my applications. As a SWAT paramedic, I need my gear accessible on the outside of my kit. It's not feasible to bring this out and then stow it when we're moving the casualty, then bring it out again. And I usually need to carry more than this plate can hold. However, for somebody that's running out of vest real estate, I'd strongly consider something like this so that you're not deciding to sacrifice your medical capabilities for your primary role. In general, if you are not invested in this ecosystem, if you don't have a med plate or you're not looking at getting one or running one, I don't think this is the plate carrier for you. You can probably get better bang for your buck from the CryJPC, HRT, or Core Performance. However, if you are in this ecosystem, if you've got a med plate, this is how you wanna run your medical supplies, or if you want the extra pocket for a hydration system, I think this is a plate carrier you should strongly consider. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you next time.